This case today, I'm left shaking my head over, and it's not just the guy that's a complete monster that I'm going to be talking about, but it's also you sick bitches out there that are head over heels for this guy. Yes, it's a shame that this guy is good looking, but come on. I know women like a bad boy, but this is just going too far. And I would highly recommend you reevaluating your choice in men. With domestic violence on the rise and women doing that whole TikTok thing where they would choose to go into the forest with a bear over a man, it doesn't make sense that you would that you would still fall head over heels for a fucking murderer. So today I'm talking about none other than the Deadpool killer who has the same name as the Deadpool character, Wade Wilson. Now I was going to hold off on doing this story on this guy because of the uh, court case that was supposed to be taking place um, on the 23rd of July, but it's been delayed now. It's been pushed back till August sometime, so I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead with the video anyway. I'm not waiting that long because just letting some people out there know what's going on with this particular case because of the amount of attention that this guy is getting. Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you don't know what's going on here, what I can tell you is I'm definitely not a high priestess that does demonic rituals wanting babies' blood sacrifices, but I am a horror artist and I like to draw what I talk about in the videos. Now, I like scary facts, true crime, anything to do with conspiracies, aliens, paranormal, all that kind of good stuff. And I like to draw, so I combine all of that into these videos to hopefully bring you a unique experience. And if you want to support me in any way, shape or form, you can get the prints that you see in these videos on my Redbubble store. And also I have an Etsy store where I make felt toy patterns so you can follow a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make characters. Like I've got horror movie characters on there, I've got my own designs on there. Just go across there, check it out. Links are in the description below. And let's get on with the video and let's get on with the drawing, shall we? Wade Wilson was born on the 20th of May 1994 in Fort Myers, Florida to teenage parents. His mother was 14 at the time and his father, Stephen Testaseca, was 16. His mother suffered from mental illness and addiction and allegedly took drugs while pregnant with Wade, so they decided to give Wade up to a family that went to the same church as them, the Wilson family. The Wilsons had two daughters themselves already. Wade was adopted not long after he was born. His adoptive parents said he was a good, normal kid, well-adjusted, and an active member in the Wilson family, but when he turned 13, this apparently all went downhill. He became paranoid and thought a demon was living in the garage of his home, which his adoptive father investigated, and he didn't seem to believe that anything weird was going on in the garage. Wade became a heavy drug user and reclusive. He also thought that people were watching him and his family and wanted the blinds in the home closed constantly. He was subjected to the Baker's Act because his adoptive father found drugs, but he was released the next day. The Baker's Act is a mental health act that focuses on crisis services for people with mental illness and is an emergency department. Throughout his high school, he did receive good grades, mostly A's, B's and C's, but he really excelled at sports. But this led to suffering from multiple head injuries, with some resulting in concussions. He was also suspended from school for selling drugs. Apparently when Wade was 18 and also again at 20, he was involved in car accidents where he sustained more head injuries. Across this time, he had several CT scans on his head, but they never showed any damage or a problem. From 2010, Wade was charged with 20 different crimes, which included assault, fraud, and drugs, which he ended up in and out of prison for. His prison file became colourful in the mental health department as it stated that Wade was suffering from depression, anxiety, 
schizoaffective disorder, which is a combination of bipolar and schizophrenia, ADD, defiance disorder, and antisocial personality disorder. While doing one of his stints in jail, Wade was beaten up by three inmates, resulting in another head injury. On the 7th of October 2019, Wade was 25 years old when he met 35-year-old Kristen Melton and her friend Stephanie Sailors at Buddha Live, which is a Fort Myers bar in Florida. After the bar closed, the three of them went back to the home of a man named Jason Shepard, where they hung out before leaving, as Jason apparently lived with his parents and his mother was not happy having these strangers in her home. Then all three went back to Kristen's place in Cape Coral. Stephanie would leave and left Wade and Kristen alone. Allegedly, Wade and Kristen had sex and after Kristen went to sleep, he beat her, tied her up with her own clothes, he strangled her in her own bed to death and then wrapped her in carpet. He hung out in her home for a bit, he then stole her car and her phone and decided to try and call his ex-girlfriend with Kristen's phone to talk to her. While driving around in Kristen's car, he saw 43-year-old bartender Diane Ruitz, who was walking to work when Wade pulled up and asked her for directions. Wade asked her to get in the car and when she did, he beat her and strangled her, then pushed her out of the car and proceeded to run over her several times until she, by Wade's own description, looked like spaghetti. He then drove to ex-girlfriend's place, Melissa Montanez, 41, and physically harmed her. He also broke in and stole from two homes after fleeing Florida to Ohio, where one of the houses was, and was found by the retired couple whose house it was, Fanny and Kent Amlin with a number of White Claw alcoholic beverages. Christine's body was found the next day in her home and Diane's body was found in a field with vultures circling her body three days later. After all of this, Wade went to his biological father, Stephen, and told him in great detail what he had done. Now, Wade did have an on and off relationship with his real father from the age of 18, but it was usually just to get money off of him. Wade told his father, Stephen, that, quote unquote, I'm a killer, and Stephen didn't believe him at first because he said that Wade is a really good storyteller. But Wade said to Stephen that he was excited by what he had done, and he wanted to do it again. His real father Stephen turned him in and was the key witness to his heinous crimes, and Wade was arrested on the 8th of October 2019. Another ex-girlfriend of Wade's came out and told of her terrifying experience with him. Kelly Matthews dated Wade in 2018 to 2019 and she said at first it was just a really toxic relationship but never violent until he started using drugs. On the 18th of February 2019, Wade pushed Kelly down onto the floor of her car, tried to choke her three times, cut her clothes off with a knife and then tied her up with them and sexually assaulted her. He then gagged her and blindfolded her, then bit her face under her chin. Does some of this sound familiar? He did this to Kristen. He eventually untied her and they both drove down to Florida Keys where Wade was supposedly going to rehab. Kelly and her mum called the police when she got home but Wade denied it and he wasn't arrested. Kelly claims that the two murders may have been prevented if police had only just listened to her. While Wade had been sitting around in jail waiting for his sentencing, he got a number of tattoos on his face such as swastikas, TTG which stands for trained to go, bread for war under his chin and a number of other white supremacist symbols on him that apparently he is a part of that group in jail. He also has a Joker-like mouth tattooed with some of the Joker slogans from the movie The Dark Knight that Heath Ledger was in. Wade did not have any face tattoos when he committed the murders. When Wade's trial started in June 2024, numerous females on TikTok would post the video of Wade walking into the courtroom in his blue dress jacket, blue tie, with music suggesting their morbid idolisation of him. 
While the trial was in motion, Wade just sat there stony-faced like he knew well and good of what he had done. He didn't care, and he was proud of it. There just appears to be no soul in his eyes, yet he goes on to admit he didn't do the crimes and that he was part of a human trafficking and drug trafficking group that worked to groom women and take them back to be trafficked but he wanted to leave so they framed him for the murders and made him ring his real father to tell him what he did but the jury just didn't buy it. Also during the trial, Dr. Heyman Eisenstein, a neuropsychologist, and Dr. Mark Mills, a forensic psychiatrist, had tested Wade and concluded that he had significant frontal lobe impairment from all the blows to his head, which would have been affecting his impulse control, problem solving skills, trouble regulating his emotions and organizing things. While Wade was in jail, another inmate tried to hire Wade to kill his ex-girlfriend but Wade reported this to the jail authorities probably to get brownie points. In June of 2024 30 year old Wade Wilson was convicted of two counts of first degree murder, grand theft auto, battery and burglary and the jury recommended the death penalty for Wade. Upon his sentencing being handed out, Wade did some weird hand signals which no one can decipher if it's even anything at all. His fate was to lie in the hands of Judge Nick Thompson on the 23rd of July 2024, but proceedings had been delayed until the 27th of August. The saddest thing is, Wade has two kids, a boy and a girl, with one of his exes, that when they grow up, they're going to learn that their father was a monster. Also, there is an online petition that someone has created on change.org to stop Wade from getting the death penalty. But as far as I'm concerned, if this guy wasn't good looking, if he was just a run of the mill, creepy looking, uh, spindly looking man, none of this would be going on. So come on, people. So what do you think about this case? And leave a comment down in the comment section below if you've been following it. And if you think that this is a bit of a waste of a human being, him being a good looking bloke and all, but he's just pure evil. And also let me know, do you think that Wade in August, if his trial doesn't get delayed again, do you think that he is going to get the death penalty or do you think he's going to get life in prison? So yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see which way this particular judge decides on his fate. I think Wade definitely did it as he's just so remorseless in his video footage that I watched from the trial. And you can just see the soulless look and the, the absolute delusion in his mind. Like I watched quite a bit of the trial and his body language is pretty terrifying. Like you can tell he did this and he just doesn't give a shit. And the way that he actually got one of the female defense attorneys to look at him, like because she wasn't looking at him and the way he like got in front of her to say, hey, look at me was just unnerving. Like he's just demanding like this power over women. And it's it was just really really terrifying so like when you look at the pictures of Wade when he was younger compared to what he is now it's like chalk and cheese it's like he's a totally different bloke it's like something has taken over him and possesses him that's what it's like it's like he's just not that bloke anymore and you can see it like it's 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 just obvious now the illustration that I decided to do for the video today was basically a representation of one of the scenes that I saw from Wade in the courtroom with one of his outfits that he was wearing and I just looked at him and I just saw this pure monster and this is like one variation because I as you would have seen at the beginning of this video I did struggle a little bit with a few different so types of faces um, because I just had so many images and I was trying to get them all down but the last one the third face that I drew just felt right and I just I'm just looking at this guy and I'm thinking this is what I 
see like I see this monster like this monster is just taken over him and it's just he's not the person that he once was or if he was even that person at all and I just see all these serpents coming out of him and they're spitting blood from all the, the devastation that he's created and done to these two women and God knows what else he's done like there was actually hearsay that there was another murder that went on in the location of where he was and I'm pretty sure that they think that he may have done that as well but that's just complete hearsay like that was just speculation that um, he might have done that as well but we don't know and there's not too much information on that at the moment so that might come out in the future as well maybe like yeah Wade's just got blood on his hands on his face like yeah I just created this being that was just the pure monster that he is and sort of keeping a lot of the human qualities um and with a crossover of a big ophi type um ogre type thing as well and yeah this this is basically what i saw when i looked at him and yeah he's just he's not a human being anymore as far as i'm concerned but anyway let me know what you think and if you liked this kind of content like and subscribe dislike it i really couldn't care less what you do because any interaction that you give me goes towards the algorithm for other people to find me and hopefully you watch whatever is left of this video and hopefully i see you guys in the next one bye